letter. The letter that you drafted, you did to us. Now, finally, what really happened, I had uh, an attack of con confidence, if you like, of conscience, uh, so I decided to leave the group, and I didn't want a conservative government in Canada. I know you were angry when I left the discussion, but that's the truth, and I think you should tell Canadians that now. You are listening to Mr. it. Well, they've got problems with the coalition, so I'm offering a liberal alternative, which is clear. Look, remember why there are elections now? Because this Prime Minister was considered, was found guilty of contempt of Parliament, a lack of respect for democracy. That's why we're in an election campaign. So we have to get a government that respects democracy. And that's why I've offered Canadians a liberal choice, which is clear, based on a family plan, which is clear. We've given the figures, we offer a clear alternative to this Harper government because they didn't respect democratic principles. We're talking about governments here. The primary duty of a Prime Minister to respect democracy is to just so. Well, we're not here to rewrite history. Mr. Layton participated in just as many meetings as I did with Mr. Harper, no more, no less. And when it was all settled, the last meeting uh, happened the last meeting took place on the day of the throne speech. Mr. Harper was there, I was there, and Mr. Layton wasn't there. But we decided that it was in Quebec's, to Quebec's advantage to include fiscal imbalance in the throne speech. So it was settled at the last minute, and when Mr. Layton showed up into the House, we said, okay, it's all settled, and he voted in favor, so it was unanimous. That's how it happened. Let's stop trying to rewrite history in order to justify things today. I said clearly what I did. It's as clear, clear cut as that. Uh, at the outset of the campaign, uh, well, tonight we're talking about uh, parties here in Ottawa. A question to each and every one of us. Uh, how will this improve people's lives? Well, firstly, I'd like to answer Mr. Teru's question. Mr. Teru asked us a question, and he needs an answer. Well, I'm running for prime minister. I'm going to work with a mandate that Canadians will give me with my team, my excellent team of NDP members. I can't accept Mr. Ignatiev's proposal. He says that he's the only alternative. That's the uh, arrogant attitude of the Liberals who seem for a long time now. But we'll put forward the interests of Canadian families and workers and we'll fight for those interests every day. We'll improve health, we'll work with the provinces to create jobs throughout Canada and we'll work to protect pensions and uh, seniors in our society. That's our commitment to you as a government.